So how do you recover from a loss when you're Betfair scalping? This is a common question that lots of Betfair scalpers always ask me because once the price goes against you for a couple of ticks, it can be hard work to get that profit back and end up in a green for that particular race. Unfortunately, there's not an actual hack that I can give you, but I will show you on the screen here an example from where I've ended up in a loss when I've been scalping a few markets and how I've managed to turn it around. And to be quite honest with you, the answer is not to do anything crazy different, not to start increasing stakes and overstaking, just to work as you would when you're not in a loss, if anything, being more defensive and continually sticking to the plan and placing your stakes in the marketplace tactically, offering a price, don't take an active price unless it looks like the price is really starting to move and then letting the market do the hard work for you because there's no other real way around this. It's not a hack, unfortunately. I think people often look for that and some people might sell that idea, but the reality is there's just not because if there was an advantage in doing that, you'd be doing it in the first place. So you can see the market activity is picking up here. But what I have got the benefit of hindsight after making a loss is the fact that the price has moved against me and it's hit a stalling point. You can see like the market's almost just lit up there in that last 20 seconds or so because really it has and more money's flown into the market. So you can also notice what just happened there because I'd offered prices, uh, offered stakes away from that traded active price. I was able to get filled when a large stake come in and took several price points at the same time. So that's one of the great advantages to executing well. Now, I've got the foresight of what's already happened here and I'm offering stakes on the back side of the book. It's obvious, there's been significant support for this particular favorite horse leading up to the live show. It's bounced back, it hit its resistance at the bottom. Now, where do I wanna be in this market? I'm being overly defensive. I'm not thinking about how much money I can make from this. I'm thinking about how can I just maintain a good position and do must do the right thing by what I'm actually trading in the market. So I'm offering stakes on the back price, bearing in mind that there's been a good bit of support for this horse. I'm being a little bit careful and cautious if it bounces back against me, but I'm just looking to let the market do the heavy lifting for me and match those stakes as the money flows into the marketplace because there's more and more of it coming quite quickly now. And I'm also trying to be mindful that in the short term, the price has been swiped for a few ticks at a time when somebody's placed a large stake if that person comes back you know maybe it's some kind of high profile person football or something punting into the exchange i don't want to get caught out by that again so i'm not going too crazy on the stakes particularly really close to the active traded range and you see that things just turn around really quite quickly there not because i did something special but because i allowed the market activity to do the heavy lifting for me now there's some other great examples shown here on the channel with some live trading in the live show so check out this video here in the end screen it's a good one